Hello everyone. This video is for the assignment cycle September 2024, semester 2 of all the streams, essentials of HRM subject. Let's move with the question 1. How would you design and implement talent management strategies to effectively attract, develop and retain millennial employees in your organization? Okay. So here uh, we can find it in uh, chapter 4. 87. Sources and methods of recruitment, what you can look for internal and external. Then uh, talent management, 135. Competitive mapping. Competency modeling. Oh. Talent management, 6.1. Okay. This is uh, basic information. Then we have concept of development. One seventy three. Concept of development. Okay. The question is a little tricky. You will not be able to find a very straight answer from the textbook. I've tried to give you a little different uh, um, perspective. You can. Uh, you can see some points what I have listed down. It is not limited. You can find more and more information uh, to answer this question. Some points are like attracting millennial employees is leverage digital recruitment channels, offer competitive compensation and benefits, promote work-life balance, showcase company values and social responsibilities, streamline the recruitment process. Okay. Then developing the millennial employees. So in the part of development, you can like provide continuous learning and development opportunities, encourage skill development and career progress, uh, progression, foster a collaborative and inclusive work environment, utilize technology and innovation, recognize and reward achievements, then retaining millennial employees, retain, uh, maintain a positive company culture, promote work autonomy and responsibility, support work-life integration, um, Facilitate, facilitate internal mobility, regularly assess employee engagement and satisfaction, then implementation steps, conduct a needed uh, needs assessment, develop a comprehensive talent management plan, communicate the strategy, implement initiatives, monitor and evaluate, adapt and improve. So these are some points which I have tried to list on. So you can elaborate on the points and you will be able to try, um, answer the question what has been uh, asked here but these are not limited it's just my idea you can write up your own way because we uh, we might have faced in our own work culture what kind of things are there what is better um, which can help us to improve our productivity and all all these uh, aspects what you would have felt as a corporate employee you can try to you know, put up all those information here Question two, list down the key steps in designing a performance management system and how does each of these steps enhance organizational effectiveness and employee development? Okay, so we can start with the concept of performance management, process of performance appraisal, benefits of professional appra performance appraisal, sorry. Again, in this question, we are not finding direct answers in the uh, textbook. We are coming uh, around and around this one, 224. So this is the concept of performance management and then we are straight away moving to appraisals. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, uh, meaning of performance appraisals and then we are performance appraisals, process and performance appraisals. So these are the factors what we have to um, read through and then put in into the answer. Okay. So again, here we have uh, other points I've tried to list down like um, defining the organizational goals and objectives, develop career job descriptions and clear job descriptions and performance standards, establish performance matrices and key performance indicator, implement regular performance reviews and feedback, develop a performance appraisal system, create development plans and training programs, establish reward and recognition system, monitor and adjust the performance management system, foster a culture of continuous improvement, uh, utilize the technology and platform, uh, performance management tools. So these are the other factors what you can write down to support these answers. But yeah, again, it's not limited one. I've just listed down some points. 
then question 3 ashish uh, chandana is the gold medalist of batch 2022 who has passed out of an excellence b school in marketing and finance he is lucky to have got ppo in covid time he has been hired by a data analyst and research based company xyz as a research associate for the data mining researching developing data driven solution for the company client currently he has been put up in a team of five members who has uh, who are working for an automotive giant of india during the covid the company suffered an unmanageable loss of talent workforce as a result of mass exodus and migration of labor who had lost home and livelihood in lockdown the client never wants to experience the disaster of facing the same crisis ever again they want xyz to develop a hr management system that would suggest and recognize encourage uh, digitization and create a balance between optimal human warehouses and strategically increase their efficiencies the client is very competitive but is pro people also for understanding the organizational needs strategically a research roadmap is created as part of that ashish is required to develop executive and present a comprehensive human resource strategy that must be presented to the top management team identify the various hr functions which ashish can involve in his presentation for preparing the hr strategy and why how do you think ashish can convince the client for improving the organization's ability to attract and keep the talented employees so here we can see hr action plan uh, in uh, chapter 2.6 so this we can see strategies uh, HR action plans after demand and supply analysis has been done. So brief information about this here, and uh, yeah, I think uh, page number will be 40. 40. Then recruitment. Again, we are going ahead with page number 83. So this is a recruitment process again it's not a very straight but you can uh, get some information like other points what you have mentioned is talent acquisition and recruitment employee onboarding and orientation learning and development performance management these are the other points you can take up and then uh, for the part b we can see a application of hr is management is 296 So this is where you can take up and the limitations also and other points is like demonstration uh, demonstrate the roi of talent investment emphasize organizational culture and engagement outline comprehensive development programs present success stories address work-life balance and flexibility foster a proactive hr culture so other other points also you can take up and answer your question okay thank you so much and all the best for your assignments everyone bye, -bye.